In this section, we'll discuss one of the most powerful features of polylines and B-spline masks in fusion, that is, the ability to have non-uniform softness on the edges. To demonstrate this feature, add a polygon mask to the flow and then view it in the display view. Create a simple shape of four points, close the shape, then select all the points by lassoing around them. Smooth the shape by selecting the Smooth Shape icon in the side menu or use the keyboard and press Shift S. Go to the Polygon Mask Control and increase the soft edge to see what the uniform soft edge looks like. All portions of the polygon shape are blurred or softened by the same degree. The soft edge control is nothing more than a Gaussian blur applied to the mask channel. To make our polyline capable of receiving non-uniform soft shadows, we must first convert it into a double polyline. This can be done by using the Make Double Poly button found on the very bottom of the toolbar that appears on the left side of the screen. Click on the Double Poly button. The only immediate visible change is that each point now has a diamond box surrounding their spline handles. This indicates that it's a different type of spline. However, there are now inner and outer polylines. The polyline consists of an inner polygon and an outer polygon. At the beginning, these two polygons are in the exact same place. Since the points of the outer polyline are parented to the inner polyline, moving the point on one of the polylines moves the point on the other polyline. To apply softness to a portion of the polyline, you must first select the outer polyline. This is done by using the Tab key to cycle between controls. Simply hit the Tab key until you see the dashed line composing the shape of the polyline instead of a solid line. The dashed line is used to represent the outer poly. You can now click and drag to pull the outer poly line away. You can also select the outer polygon using the select menu that appears in the right hand corner of your display view. With the outer poly line selected, simply pull out the points until you have a smooth softness along the edge of the polyline shape. Take note of the dashed line that connects the points of the inner polyline and the outer polyline. And a follow inner button appears in the side toolbar when the outer polyline is enabled. This represents the fact that these points are parented to each other. Moving the outer polyline has no effect on the inner polyline but the inner polygon point when moved affects the position of the outer polyline point. To unlock the parenting and control the polylines independently, right-click on Polygon 1, Outer Polygon, and select Locked Point Pairs to uncheck it, or simply click on the outer polyline and select the Follow Inner Toggle button. Double-edged polylines are animated exactly the same way that single-edged polylines are, both the inner and outer polyline shape are connected to their own poly change splines. To demonstrate this, switch to the spline view and move to frame 10. Select the inner polyline and then change its position. A new keyframe is automatically placed for the inner polyline. At the same point, adjust the outer polyline and a keyframe is created for that as well. Since double-edged polylines are most often used to emulate motion blur in an object that's being rotoscoped, you'll often find that once the motion stops, it's necessary to return both the inner and outer polylines to the exact same shape again. This is made simple in Fusion by providing an extra menu option that allows you to make the polylines equal. Simply select the option and both the inner and outer polylines will be in the exact same shape again. Use Ctrl Z to undo your last change. Let's explore one final element of double-edged polylines. Although we're using an inner and an outer curve to apply non-uniform softness to the overall polyline shape, we can still use the soft edge control we looked at at the beginning of this video to apply additional softness to the curve as well. The two types of softness can be chained one on top of the other for a more powerful effect. This concludes our short overview for double-edged polylines and note that all the techniques that have been shown in this video can also be applied to double-edged polylines that are created by B-splines.
As always, for the most up-to-date descriptions and details on Fusion, visit manual.vfxpedia.com. <laughs>